When we were doing data entry to plan our project, we used a table called Entry. When we started tracking the progress of our project, we used the table Tracking. It might be worth, now that we've got some actual tracking going on, it might be worth having a look at the other tables that are available to you. For example, if you click the View tab in the ribbon and you go to the Data group, return to the Tables button. We're currently in the Tracking table. But have a look, for example, at Variance. Variance will give you information such as baseline start, baseline finish, any variances in the start dates of tasks, and any variance in the end dates of tasks. Another useful table, if I go back to the Tables button in the View tab, is to have a look at Summary. Summary, for example, has the percentage complete of the entire project and various tasks, and also the cost and work information. Another interesting table that you may want to have a look at is cost. Here we have, for example, the baseline cost and the actual cost. And this is what the project has actually cost me so far, and the remaining cost. So have a look under the Tables button, and there's some very interesting tables in there. I'm going to put my table back to tracking. The other thing I might point out also is if you happen to go back to the Gantt chart in the view bar, you'll find that the indicator column has put ticks in those tasks that are complete. And that's quite useful as well. And I'll go back to the tracking Gantt. I notice I don't have an indicators column in my tracking Gantt. So what I might do is right click task name, insert column, and ask for the indicators column by pressing I and clicking indicators. I can then resize it. And this is quite useful to easily see those tasks that are completed with the use of a tick.